Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? Back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Alone in the Dark Nostalgia Critic by the channel Channel Awesome. Yes, um, if you guys like this video, go and subscribe. The link will be down in the description. It's very important to support the channels that you love. This was a suggestion from Dragon Trainer 201 Thank you so much for the support. Um, hey, I forgot to tell you that Spoonie and Linkara each have their own websites. Okay. Okay, so they both do. I wonder what's on it, though. Atop the fourth wall. So they all got their own separate websites or one website all together? Let's see. Nope, separate websites. Yeah. So separate websites. Um, thank you so much for the support, Dragon Trainer. You guys can also help support the channel. Click on that link down below in the description if you throw down through Streamlabs. He can let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include video, link, title, and email. You guys, and this is the first video of the night, and you guys saw firsthand. He just jumped on my lap. He's like, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> and let's get to it. Well, it finally happened. I've been traumatized by the movie I just saw. A film so bad that my doctor tells me I may never speak again. What film brought me <laughs> to such a speechless state? Well, let me tell you the story of a sauerkraut named you evil. He is being declared the new Edward of the film world. A man who constantly keeps making horrible movie after horrible movie and yet somehow keeps making money. He mostly makes video game films like House of the Dead and Blood Ring. His gimmick is that he exercises German tax loopholes that reward his investments into the film, even if they totally bomb. So if the movie Jesus. loses money, the investor got a tax write-off. He's also well known for challenging his critics to a boxing match and beating the living man shit out of them. Class act. Because of his unfortunate popularity, many of my viewers have been requesting me to review one of his movies. I took a look at one of his more famous films, Alone in the Dark, and am now paying the consequences. <laughs> I'd love to review the movie for you, but I do not want to sound like Stephen Hawking's speaking coach. So it looks like I'm going to pass on this one unless I can find someone to Did review- Did someone say, Uva Vol? Man, I've wanted to take a shot at that cinematic Hitler for years. How did you get in here? I'm from the future. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding, I have broken. Well, not that I wouldn't want to watch the movie again with you, Spoonie, but I fear a film this bad would take at least three reviewers. So unless you can find someone Hi, else- Hey, guys! Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> I saw the nostalgia <laughs> signal in the sky. Oh my god. That's awesome, yes. Why did I install that? No one should have to watch Uva Ball alone, especially with Spoonie. Hey, dude, check out what I can make the nostalgia critics say. I like to wear women's clothing. I like to wear women's clothing. <laughs> well, I, I guess guys. we have enough people to withstand the horror. Except this guy, I really don't know him too well. So what do you say we watch alone, in the dark, funny, with though. a group, in the daylight? Sounds great! Totally looking forward to it. Goody. <laughs> Uh-uh. Have you? Unless it's like one we've seen, but all of them kind of sound the same, to be honest. It comes a horror movie. Was it, it was Alone in the Dark or Alone in the Night or... What was it, what was it I called? Don't, I don't, Alone in the Dark. That sounds familiar, but I'm thinking of that kids show yeah. from when I was young, I think. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the dark or something. <laughs> this is really how they intro a horror movie. <laughs> So we start off with an opening text scroll explaining the background of the story. Mine workers discovered the first remnants of a long lost Native American civilization, the Apkani. The Apkani believed there are two worlds on this planet, a world of light and a world of darkness. The Apkani were kind of stupid that way. The Apkani <laughs> opened a gate between these worlds. The Apkani mysteriously vanished from the earth. They never think to look under the fridge. Only a few artifacts <laughs> remain. Hidden in the world's Good most God, how long is this? It's like Alone in the Dark, the audiobook. <laughs> Bureau 713. Fucking novel before the movie. Connie artifacts. When the government. Ah, guys, how much text is in this movie? This isn't a bill for health care. Let's get to the friggin' action already. There, he conducted savage experiments on orphaned children. Boring. This is so boring. This is so boring. Get to the show. Survived as sleepers. Lost souls awaiting the moment of their calling. Jesus. Wait, Dumb. I missed something. Could you start it again? No! <laughs> no, 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 So I guess Jesus. 22 years before that onslaught of rambling text, there was a sweet, innocent old nun who ran a lovely little orphanage where she sold her children to the most adorable science experiments. Wait, what? <laughs> 
The children the are fuck? my responsibility. We've been through this before. These children have been specially selected. We've been through this before. Here's five dollars. Take them all. <laughs> it's not about a few children. It's about the future of our species. Wow, James Lipton has found a way to become even hammier. So one of the kids escapes from the evil experiments and hides in the safest place he can think of, a high voltage electricity box. <laughs> but it's okay, he's saved by a flash forward to the future. Oh no, he grew up into Christian Slater. <laughs> Isn't that a bit of a nightmare? My mommy says that there's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. My mommy also says I should pick it up. How did it... How did the kid know he was in the dark? You're on a plane that's completely lit up. The guy hasn't said a word. And they somehow add dark to the context. Mm, I don't know. That didn't make sense. <laughs> Accent before I act. This is Edward, our main character, who makes his living as a professional monologuer. My name is Edward Carnby, and I'm here to protect you from the things you don't believe. You see, there's a world around you that you've trained yourself not to see. So maybe you're thinking I'm an asshole scaring that kid for no reason. No, we think you're an asshole for a lot of other reasons. <laughs> when I was 10, I lost my memory. Gone. Erased. You don't have to believe me. Why start now? <laughs> what do you do? I'm a paranormal investigator. I hunt and track down the strange and unusual. I think his performance in The Wizard is an upgrade compared to this. The cows would follow us since we left the airport. You want me to lose them? Wouldn't mind. Shit. Be careful! Jesse Ventura's been known to kill people! <laughs> So they have themselves a little car chase until the Ventura douche nails them in a corner. Slater tells the cab driver not to move. So long, rare white cab driver guy! You know, for protecting us from the things we don't believe in, he really sucks at it. <laughs> so rather than just attacking the guy, he climbs up a fence, walks over a bridge, and then attacks the guy. Oh I God. guess he figured he could use the exercise. <laughs> Have to beat up the door, pal. You could have just an old guy. Come on. Window you smashed through. And here he's crashing through another There's window. There's a door. This guy has fear of doors. Did a door kill his family? <laughs> <laughs> what is with the physically impossible street fighter what? move? What? Boom. Nobody can levitate a kick like that from off the ground, unless of course the man was. Doris. <laughs> so Slater tries to shoot the guy, but it turns out bullets are just like milk duds being thrown at him. What the hell? Yes, because it worked so well the first time. So the so wait bullets a minute. didn't Knocking work. Knocking him senseless does nothing. Shooting him does nothing. But falling on a sharp, pointy stick that just happens to be laying around on the ground is what kills him. That just makes no sense. Unless, of course, that man was Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Chuck Norris. No, 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 so we get to a scientist <laughs> named Aileen, played by Tara Reid. How do we know she's a scientist? Well, because she has glasses, of course. And as we of all course. know, any woman who has glasses is either a scientist or an adventurous librarian. As if wearing glasses makes you look any smarter. <laughs> I need glasses. It's probably for the big Upcani show. Upcani? What the hell's Upcani? Oh, it's an ancient Native American civilization. Okay, yeah. Don't you know, like, everyone knows about the Upcani tribe. It was all <laughs> over MTV News last week. For sure. <laughs> so we see Slater trying to walk away from the plot when he has a sudden suspicion. I love these guys. And at first, this movie really didn't look too bad the way it entered. It looked corny, but not too bad. And they did an okay job on the fighting scenes. And then when you're really putting it together, though, the story is just so freaking weak. Like he's being followed. And then again, we didn't see the whole movie. And, together. We're just uh, this little clip. He's not. Huh. You know, from the way they were shooting, I could have sworn he was being followed. Nope, he's just walking home with no conflicting obstacles whatsoever. That's just mass paranoia huh. from all the meth that he's done in the days from tweaking. Jesus. <laughs> kind of pointless, really. Yeah. 
so it turns out, a paranormal agent makes pretty good money, as he lives in what looks like a mix between a garage and a furniture showroom. <laughs> so he looks at his archaeological decoder ring to see if he can find any clues as to what it translates out to. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> we then cut to a ship in the middle of the sea where Professor Lionel Hudgens and Gordon Fisherman here make an incredible discovery. A box made out of 100% pure gold. Whatever's inside must be worth a fortune. Oh, you have no idea. But fast as you can say, hands off me booty, the sailors lock the professor in another room and try to seal the box away, oh. opening it up and releasing a horrible creature. Oh god. Oh no, my acting is going Shatner. <laughs> For some reason, everyone decides to just walk off the movie. I mean, I geez, I knew Uva Ball was a horrible director, but to have all the actors just walk off the movie at the same time, <laughs> that's pretty bad. So the professor opens up the door that was just locked a second ago to find that the entire crew has been murdered. This gets the attention of the Agency of Paranormal Investigations, Bureau 713, filled with the most attractive people that GQ can afford. There's no malfunction, sir. Jesus Christ. Hey, look, it's that guy who consistently almost has a career. Steven Dorf? <laughs> yes. So Slater makes his way back to his old orphanage in the hopes of figuring out the secrets to his past and the fact that some of his old friends are disappearing. I need your help. I want to find the others. I'll get their files. Come on. So let's go back the way we just came. Walking at its best, folks. I was recruited in the Bureau 7. What? Now we're back 20. here? This movie jumps around more than a Mexican jumping bean on a grasshopper on Seems a like jackrabbit on a pogo stick. Too far, man. This movie sucks. <laughs> So he talks with an old pal to figure out if there's anything all the people who have been disappearing recently have in common. I, uh, tracked down the three you asked me about. Even though you are showing him four, you moron. Nothing much in common except they all grew up in the same orphanage. Oh, is that all? Just the same orphanage? That's like saying, oh, they have nothing in common except for, like, that one huge thing they have in common. Right. So because this movie can't They're sit still for two much. seconds, he goes to yet another location, the museum where that archaeological hottie works. Edward. Oh, God, I missed you. I thought you were dead, you asshole. Okay. We uh? love Edward. We love him so much. Oh. We hate Edward. We hate him with all our. No, no, no! Seriously, critic, it just doesn't work unless you actually have the Gollum voice. My precious. No, no. Please, <laughs> just, just call it. So Aline analyzes the artifact and comes up with some baffling conclusions. The thing is, they're all from different locations: Venezuela, Newfoundland, Alaska, and now this one from Chile. Burying them at the ends of the earth. Yeah, but why? If you want someone to build a puzzle, why would you hide the pieces so far apart? Because it's a puzzle, you dummy! It's supposed to be hard to solve! Things look bad when suddenly the lights in the museum start flickering on and off, and it probably doesn't help that the security guard has just two days left before retirement. Bill. Yeah, flickering lights. Uva Ball is actually trying to scare us with flickering lights. All that's missing is a guy in a microphone trying to make scary sound effects. This does look really bad. Ooh, hey, look out for the flickering lights! Remember me as a brilliant security guard. <laughs> so Edward and Aileen see the beast and try their best to get away from it. Zool, motherfucker, zool! Oh yeah, and trap yourself inside the building. Don't run out of the building or into the streets where someone could help you. This is much more sensible. But thankfully, Stephen Dorf and friends come in to try and save the day, and of course, be an ignorant jackass as well. Been a little soft since you left 713. Why are you still here? I just got my ass chased around this goddamn museum by something I couldn't see. I want to know what 713 knows You're about not it. 713 anymore. Okay? That information's classified. That means it's none of your fucking business. What about the business of that little girl? We've got this under control. <laughs> Damn it, the You're Batman right, voice. Maybe I have gotten soft. Just keep walking. Is he trying to out Slater, Christian Slater? 
<laughs> so Edward goes to the old doctor friend he saw earlier to see if he's discovered anything about the Jesse Ventura guy. Why the hell was he trying to kill me? This might have something to do with it. Never seen this kind of symbiosis before. This must be why his entire nervous system was compromised. If by compromised you mean invincible! <laughs> right? Yeah, he's still giving a reading. What? Well, it appears you have one to. Oh, we got a cutscene. I'll tell you later. <laughs> so we see the cut right there. apparently has been keeping some of these monsters for himself, taking their blood and injecting it into his own. What does this have to do with the story? Nothing. Ooh, is just a weird fuck. Mmm, <laughs> that's good, MacGuffin. The man who attacked me yesterday was actually. Shut up! <laughs> good lord, he can monologue about anything. I was on my way to get my prostate checked. I suddenly realized <laughs> I forgot to Tebow lost. Why the hell? Oh my god, dude. Dark no humor. But his monologuing doesn't last long as he's interrupted by Aileen dropping by his place. Well, perhaps she's come to share some info or figure out why he lied about being dead, or. Maybe she's just a whore. Well, but. I mean, what kind of woman acts like this? Just breaks into your home and starts making out with you. Granted, I wish more this women acted like so that, but this so is really far. pushing it. Oh, it's like they didn't even bother with the story. It'll, it'll be fine. We'll just go with it. Her time. In fact, how come there's no narration here? Don't you think this would be an interesting spot to have a monologue? I couldn't believe this chick. I mean, she just broke into my home and started doing me. Maybe it's that new Axe body spray. <laughs> the fact that I started bathing again. Why the hell was I in Star Trek <laughs> <laughs> it's because some guys think Xbox yeah. Play works like that, and it's like, fucking hilarious. That was good. Oh, for the most part, it doesn't smell good. None of it does. Axe? Yeah. There's some like one or does. two scents that smell okay, and the rest are just like, yeah. you might as well grab some for a breeze and just, <laughs> actually, for breeze would probably work better. <laughs> Seems all the pieces fit together. Oh, is that what you call what we just did? I mean, I slapped you after we hugged. You don't even want to know what I'm going to do after we have sex. I knew they were going to say something Cha. about Cha. that. Cha. Cha. Uh-oh. Uva Ball's turning the light switch on and off again, which must mean there's danger nearby. Stay there. I'll bravely abandon you so you can fend for yourself. <laughs> So they're approached by more people with compromised nervous systems, but luckily their magic glowing bullets hurt them now. How many more are there? Oh great, the whole fight scene is shot in the dark so you can't see the action. Oh my god. If you think about that, that's just like one of the cheapest ways to do a shooting scene where you don't want to have to bother with the uh special effects they're like we'll just do it in the dark that way we just gotta shoot, do frames we can do frames instead of actual video these are just pictures you're looking at pretty much <laughs> luckily north and the gang drop i begin to save the day how do they even know these guys are evil they could have been innocent civilians who just wandered in Whoa, with all these flashing lights! Oh, not radical. <laughs> I brought science! Pizza <laughs> delivery! Charge! Charge! Pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! No, Look the bullet flew it. right. Right above her head. Was the shock that what somebody was trying to kill her just too much for her to handle? Actually, think about it. Mm -hmm. That gunshot was computer generated, so the director actually had to say in post production, make sure that shot doesn't hit her. What a <laughs> cocksucking douche! <laughs> That's so true. Cause you gotta think that was edited in. So when they're rewatching this and they can clearly see the shot not hit her, they gotta be like, no, no, make sure it doesn't yeah. hit her. Maybe like editing a video. We could have edited it better than that. That's terrible. Why would they have done that? I don't know. It does not make sen any sense. <laughs> it's so funny though. 
Who knows, man? Oh, yeah, that's great. It's like he's taunting us with how bad he is. Like, he can post <coughs> anything he wants, and yet somehow he'll still stay rich. Only in America. And yet, ironically, with a German. What the hell's going on here? I got a feeling this is just the beginning. Oh, oh, how long is this movie? This movie has a talent for somehow having too much plot, and yet no plot at all. That's funny, man. So they put together that all the nasty monsters and zombie people are coming from this one cave or mine or something. So they load up and get ready to go snooping around. Wait for my command. We've got three perimeters of flashlight set up, deadly gun sets of electromagnetic motion tracking, and every available agent in the vicinity is here. But come Look, I don't care what you have to do. I do love just random now. yelling. Look at this place. We need more. All right, you got it. So everybody suits up and guards the cave to make sure no monsters or zombie folk can break in. And it's probably a bad thing to mention that every single one of these soldiers has just two days left before retirement. <laughs> so about the next ten minutes of film so is pretty wrong. much just our heroes. That's why they were selected. Thunder Mountain sure. here. Padding, 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 padding. Hey, look, a wall. That's different. Marco, Marco! Oh, well. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you go up against Sub Zero. <laughs> so, as you'd imagine, a bunch more of those HR Geigers dropping to attack the soldiers. But that doesn't stop our heroes from still snooping around. Don't worry about what's going up top. We'll solve that later. I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> what? John, lay down. Lay down. Relax. Everything's going to be fine. Well, she's a goner. <laughs> uh, shoot it. Shoot it. Uh, try shooting it, guys. And yeah, she's dead now. Thanks a lot, Bureau 713's finest. Guy. Wow. Check this out. That it's was what the hell was that? It says once you make it down here alive, you're already dead. But if you come down here dead, you'll become alive. Yeah, but if you're half dead and half alive, then you might have a better chance of getting fixed. Of course, there are black lanterns. You gotta put out a special red zombie arch into our thing. Now it's hard to put it into our lead charge for the spot where you can launch down to the genus planet. Oh my god, no. This is so dumb. Hey, wait a minute, she tilted her head up. Play that again. Oh, oh what is with that? How do you get away with that? I guess Steven Dorf was right. She really would be okay. Nobody is One take, guys. We're not doing it again. Okay. <laughs> so the GI schmoes work their way into a dark laboratory where they make an astonishing discovery. 713. He implanted us with those things. We've been trying to stop something. They created the whole time. My guys are dying out there for nothing. For fucking nothing! God damn it! <laughs> oh, you, you, yeah, you do that. I'm acting. I like to wear women's clothing. I like to wear... <laughs> It says if you made it to this door, you weren't intimidated by the other door. <laughs> My whole life could be on the other side of this thing. Some doors are meant to stay shut. Yeah, like the DVD case to this movie. Oh Damn. God, yes. I spent 20 years looking for the key for that door. Does this place bring back memories, Carmi? You were my last failure here. If you hadn't escaped, 730 you would never have shut down my experiments. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you pesky kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that mangy dog. Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> so Dorf does a perfect underhanded throw to the guy's chest. Oh my god. To pierce this dark yeah. with a freaking knife and an underhand throw. So then they open the door and find that, that all sorts of, of monsters are there ready to meet the world. They decide the only logical thing to do is what all people with explosives do explode things. So Dorf sacrifices himself, don't ask, he just does, as Edward and Aileen get out through a back way that leads, coincidentally, back to the orphanage. Wow. Wait a minute. It was night a second ago. Now it's day. That makes no sense. What do 
you know. Haven't you heard of suspension of disbelief? So now with the monsters blown up, everything is fine, right? No. For it turns out some other group of monsters that was never explained or shown to us attacked the city while they were fighting in the cave, resulting in a complete evacuation of the entire city all in one night. Wow. That's that a seems lot like the the kind of uh, thing that you wouldn't miss no matter what you were doing. Like you could just pop your phone open and it's like, hey, city was evacuated. You know what's mm -hmm. going on? Yeah. Hi, movie. That is a lot to buy. One night, they evacuated the city in one night. Holy fuckballs! Is this stupid? <laughs> and you know what makes it really tragic is that everyone <laughs> in the city thing. had just two days left till retirement. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And on top of that, didn't those monsters just do a dandy cleanup job? I mean, wow, there's not a speck of debris or a drop of blood on the ground. These are the cleanest of Hell's demonic minions ever. And just when you thought this movie couldn't possibly rip off any other famous horror films, tell me what this reminds you of. Watch Evil Dead much? I was going to say Goosebumps, to be honest. So that was Uva Balls <laughs> Alone in the Dark. How does it fare up? Horrible! It's god-awful! Deplorable. I can see why this guy is called the next Ed Wood. His stories make no sense, there's no originality, the plot holes are just gigantic, and on top of all that, it has nothing to do with the game it was based on. There, it's over, now leave. Oh, come on, I got all these other Uva Bowl movies we can watch, like House of the Dead. <laughs> Remember to buy Revolution of the Mass. Why, what about Dungeon Siege? <laughs> hey, you leave him alone! <laughs> Dungeon Siege. <laughs> Well, if you want to watch some hot chicks, I got blood rain. Blood rain too. Five. Five. Come on, you gotta be so mean. We can watch seed. That's it, Freddy. It's on now. I'm not now. I remember it, so you don't have to. That was ridiculous. I can't believe that that bullet didn't even hit her. I the know. The girl moves her head when she's laying on the ground. It's daytime when it's supposed to be nighttime. See, I would have missed the girl moving her head. They called that out, yeah. so thank them for doing that. The bullet I did see, but I was like... What was the other part? Was it like a shotgun? What was it? Because I forgot what gun he was holding. I'm like, what's the deal with this? How did it have multiple shots? What's that? No, I, I'm just shaking my head because I think it's so stupid. It... Um, like, what you... Oh, we don't have the funds to reshoot this scene, so... <laughs> the best fucking part, though, is the fact that bullet. You come back to that, and the, they look at that. They go over the movie, and they see it. No, make it miss. <laughs> why did, Why would they do that, though? It doesn't make no sense. She wouldn't be dead if you didn't hit her. It's like they didn't do any retakes. They just did it once. And yeah. That's good. <laughs> now we're too much money in retakes were any of them those actors in the movies or in that movie i should say um really big actors um or not really big actors obviously they're not huge <coughs> because i don't know them. one of them looked familiar though i'd feel embarrassed though like if i was a popular actor and i was in a movie that was that horrible. I'm gonna be honest, none of them really look familiar, but the girl kind of did. I feel like she was in scary movies. No. You sure? We'll see. <clears throat> we gotta go to cast. Um, um, movie cast. Tara Reed. Yeah, that's who she was. Christian Tara Slater, Reed. Stephen Dorff. I mean, I don't know any of them. I've heard of Tara Reed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's like a actual she might known look, celebrity. Click on her name. Scroll down. She was in American Pie, The Big Lebowski, Sharknado. National American. Lampoon. She was in quite a few, and plus 45 other movies. Yeah, she's been in a lot of movies. Oh, yeah. I think American Pie is probably where I remember her from from when I was a kid. Isn't that like a really sexual show? American Pie? Yeah. No, it was, it's aired on TV, so it's not like really sexual. I thought it was really, um... Some parts are See, kind he's... of, it's more based off around a like 18-year-old's life of just partying and then like Stephen getting Dor in trouble. Okay, I don't care about that. Steven Dorff's um, in a lot of movies too. Let's see, Christian Slater, he's popular. Yeah. Yeah, they're all really popular. The Which was the girl that moved her head? <laughs> I don't know. 
Like, she probably don't get no work. <laughs> they didn't even put her on the cast after that. Is this her? <laughs> no. That was I funny as hell, though, guys. Comment down below what your favorite fail of that movie was. I'm going to go with the bullet just because they had to have rewatched that. Because you have to go over a video once it's done and just make sure everything looks good. And somebody's seen that and they're like, just leave it. Just just leave it. That's ridiculous. It takes like a couple seconds to redirect that thing's um, trajectory and like it takes, after effects. Yeah. But just, just forget it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Like, yeah, and reshooting a scene too, like where the girl moved her head. Reshooting a scene like that. I mean, yeah, it takes a lot of work to keep doing that because, I mean, every scene they reshoot usually multiple times. Um, but. That's such a simple thing, too. Why would you even it. lift your head when you're in the sand? Like, Well, she was supposed to be dead. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why would you even lift your head if you were in the sand and you were an actor? Like, what would you think? Like, oh, let's get my hair. You know? Like, what would you be thinking to do that? She probably wasn't thinking. I don't know. Maybe she thought the scene was over and they just didn't care. Maybe they thought it was over, too, and that wasn't even supposed to be in there. <laughs> Uh, anyway, well, got, anyway, guys, leave comments down below. Um, go and subscribe to the channel. That is Channel Awesome. It's very important to support the channels that you love. The link will be down in the description so you can get there easier and find it. And bye. Peace out.